Welcome back everyone. Uh, in the previous video we learned about how to go ahead and display the content using the templates in Gatsby. Uh, in this video we're going to learn about deployment. So we're going to deploy it on uh, the Netlify. So you can go to like app.netlify.com and just register yourself. I'm already registered so that's fine. You can register yourself as well. And then just uh, you need to add your repository to GitHub and then uh, first time you go ahead and push it and deploy it and the next time whenever you push uh, your code to the branch um, it Gatsby will automatically uh, go ahead and push that and deploy it to uh, your site live site okay so let's do that I'm gonna do rmrf dot git and this is going to be Gatsby with WordPress workshop a workshop Gatsby WordPress workshop and let's create one quickly and I'm going to do get in it and then I'll just say get at all I hope we have a get ignored let me just check uh, yep we do get at all first limit and I'll just add origin get push origin master once that is done then once you signed up then you can uh, check about the new site so you can say a new site from git and then you can select the github once you select the github it asks you to authorize it and all once it's authorized then you need to search for the repository that you want to deploy so I want to deploy this repository you just need to configure it. Now I'm going to look for the Gatsby with WordPress workshop. This is the one. So I'll select that. Uh, selected two repositories. No, I don't want both of them. I just want this one. Then save it. Actually, I want to have all repositories access. Save it. And then let me see. Yep, yeah, that's the one. Why is it saying? Okay, so now I have the access. I just had to provide the access to this repository. And then just select that. And it also asks you which branch do you want to deploy. So in case you want to also preview the deployment for some specific branch that you've created, you can do that actually. But let's do it with master for now. And it asks you that what the what is the command you want to run and which directory it should run. So it should actually be for public. And let's just click on deploy site. That, and that's all you have to do, guys. Once you deploy your site, uh, your site will be available at this URL, which you can also change. So uh, this is a random URL that you get, but if you want to change the domain name and put it a custom one, you can do that by going to site settings. Um, if that particular uh, domain is available, brilliant, you can use that for free. But if it isn't, uh, you can also use your custom domain. So then from here, uh, you know you can uh, use your custom domain of course you may you will need to pay for it if you're going with that but for free if that domain is available you can you can use that but they will be like dot uh, netify.com at the end okay so just loading up it's building so if you want to see the build process you can see that's how it's working and it's, everything is going smooth for now and hopefully within some time we should have our Gatsby site deployed to Netlify. You can deploy to other, other uh, places as well, but for demonstration purposes, I'm showing that to you on Netlify. Okay. All right. So that's not perfect. So as you can see, we get a message that stating that start is live. And if I want to see, preview the deploy, I can do that over here. We, this is the home page. You click on blog we have a blog page over here we have about and then if I want to go back and check let's go back and now if I want to change the URL because this doesn't look very uh, easy to remember let's just change the site name and over here I can say Gatsby with WordPress workshop uh, hopefully this URL should be available 
Yes, it is. Awesome. So now my site will be available at this URL. Catsby with WordPress. Workshop metalify.com. Awesome. We have a blog post and then I can go to any of the blogs. I can click on a single page. You have a single page and I've got the content for that up and running. Awesome. So guys, we did it together. We'll build the beautiful Gatsby workshop, uh, sorry, Gatsby site uh, with WordPress at the back end and front end with Gatsby as well. So congratulations. And now let's run the audit. Let's go over here and let's close this one and let's just run the audit. So Lighthouse score, this is what we've been waiting for. That's why we built the front-end website with Gatsby and if it can give us a good performance, brilliant. Let's try it. Okay, it's almost there. Awesome guys, congratulations. You can see it's performance 100%, accessibility 100, best practices, SEO, and even progressive web apps as well. Which means if I go offline, so let's try to go offline. And now if I refresh, there you go. It's the, style st uh, the site still works. And now if I check, first content contentful uh, paint was in 0.9 seconds. Time to interactive, all of that, right? Isn't that brilliant? Awesome, congratulations. So I hope you did like the video guys. Uh, if you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, the code will be available at this like we did together. And uh, do give a star to my repository if you like my work to support my work and motivate me. Uh, you can just hit the star over here and also hit the follow button uh, over here. And you can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Imran Sayed. And same as for GitHub as well. So I will see you uh, next in the upcoming videos. Uh, but for now, this is good. This is a good starting point for you to build your Gatsby website uh, with WordPress at the back end and Gatsby on the front end. And I hope you enjoyed the uh, free course. And uh, I'm going to see you uh, in future. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care.